Hello, Liberty Button. Today I want to show you how you can hook up your IPVO document camera so that you can record what's uh, on the document camera using OBS and then you could take that video and drop it onto YouTube or share it with your students however you would like to do that. So you can see on my laptop I'm already running OBS and I've got my webcam I even got the, the little logo in the corner. So you can see the sources are there, my webcam and my logo. I've never mentioned this before, but over here on the left, you can see I have a scene. It's just called scene. And I never changed it because I've just had one scene. Well, I'm going to create a new scene where this scene has my document cam as the input instead of my webcam. So I'm going to click the little plus under scenes. I'm going to call this uh, document cam. And now you can see there are no sources that are in this scene. So I'm going to add my document cam. So I'm going to click on the plus under sources. The document cam is also a video capture device. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to call this IPVO. And when I plug my IPVO camera into my laptop, it will show up as one of the devices that's connected. So here's my uh, IPVO. You can see that's a live connection. I click OK. Uh, I'm going to resize this just so it's the same size as my screen. And now I have a way that I could write on a piece of paper and have it show up on my, my screen, which I can record. The problem is it's uh, it's upside down. So I have a couple options. I could actually pick up my webcam, turn it around, but then when I do that, the arm of the document camera is right where, where I am. So uh, instead of uh, turning this around physically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it around uh, digitally. To do that, I'm going to right click right in the middle of the OBS screen, and I'm going to transform this by rotating it 180 degrees. So when I do that, I now have uh, a screen where up is up, and if I write, it shows up in the correct orientation. So once again, all I have to do is start recording, and everything that happens right here, anything that's underneath this camera, gets recorded to a video. And I showed you that I created uh, a new scene. At any time, I can hop back to my original scene, talk directly into the camera if I wanted to, and then go back to my document cam and continue to write something on my piece of paper. As soon as I'm done with this piece of paper, I just get a new piece of paper and uh, continue writing or doing math problems or whatever I'm going to do on my piece of paper. So this is a real easy way that you could take input from something like a document camera and record it to video so you could easily share it with your students online.